Well, Joseph, uh, a very warm welcome for you down south. Oh, you know, it's great to be here. Um, we're only here for a short time, but I'm making the most of it, so it's awesome to be here and meet all the kids that are here in this uh, building. Looks a pretty good venue for a fight in the future, perhaps? Definitely. Um, no, one of the reasons why we're down here is to um, you know, do our media tour, but we're looking at fighting here in the future, so just checking out the, the stadium and seeing how it's like before we come in and uh, fight. Good buzz about it though, isn't it? You get a big full house here, it'll be a big boost to you. Oh, definitely. You know, it's always great to have great support, and I know that if we do fight down here, it'll fill up and it'll be great support. So, um, you know, the venue was when I came the last time was uh, being built, and now it's uh, completed. So, definitely good to see the change and uh, see the, the finish. So, you're touring with your opponent. Uh, that's a bit unusual in boxing. You're supposed to be at loggerheads with each other. How, how is that as a, as a preparation for the fight? No, it's, it's good, you know, um, we're just on here for doing a tour. Um, me and my opponent, we respect each other before and after the fight. So um, you know, it's all um, being respectful, but when you're in the ring, you've got to turn on that switch and it's, uh, you know, have to beat him up. But then after that, be friends again. So it's uh, a lot of respect, but uh, we know when, um, when, when the job has to be done. You seem to thoroughly enjoy your experience in the US. We kept up with that uh, from here. Oh, definitely. Um, the US was a great um, experience. And then I came down here for a few days and then um, on this tour and then I leave tonight back to uh, Vegas to start my training camp again. So I'm um, pretty busy, but it's pretty exciting. Must be a great place to prepare, lots of good sparring partners and, and, um, and, and people to give you some advice. Oh, definitely. I have a great person in Kevin Barry who is um, very experienced, um, a lot of great sparring partners and uh, we just have a great setup we're, we're both comfortable with. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it works for both of us, so we're definitely going to just keep on track and, and keep doing the same things. How far ahead do you look in your career? Is to be on this next fight, do you have an idea in your mind how you'd like it to play out? Yeah, we sort of have a few ideas of uh, when we're going to fight again after this fight, but the, the main focus is just to focus on this fight. You know, I can't look past Sherman Williams. He's a great guy, great opponent, um, very you know, tough, durable, um, experienced, so there's, uh, you can't look ahead. You know, you've got to concentrate fully on this guy, and that's all I'm focusing on at the moment. Does it take a lot of recovery after a bout? Do you need a, some genuine time off your body, mentally and physically? Um, after the last bout, we, we took about four days or well, seven days off. We went to New York and had a few meetings with us, some big um, like uh, HBO and Showtime, and went to LA, had a little holiday, and then came back here, tried to do a bit of training, but um, uh, got carried away a bit of burgers and that. <laughs> so I can't wait to get back to uh, Vegas tonight and uh, start my training camp again with my coach Kevin. Yeah, you must be overwhelmed with the support. Like every kid wants your photograph, you, you, you're instantly recognised by him. Oh, it's, it's definitely humbling. It's definitely humbling. Like I, I never thought um, I would ever you know, reach the stage where people want my autograph or photo of me. So it's definitely humbling, and uh, I'm just thankful for all the support that I get. Um, that support helps push me along. It was a great touch going to Joe Louis' uh, graveyard. I thought that was a wonderful uh, experience for you because he was such a fantastic boxer. Oh, definitely. Uh, Joe Louis is one of the um, legends, you know, and it was great just to be there where he was um, you know, buried and. Uh, and just I saw the plaque that they wrote on him, it was just a you know, great plaque and it had all the championships and all that kind of stuff. So it was like a motivation for me to, when I saw it. Just being in a buzz with all that boxing community over in the States, is just such a big sport there. Oh definitely, it's a big sport. I got the, went to the Rocky Steps, saw Joe Lewis's uh, grave and then met Larry Holmes. So definitely some great experiences um, you know, for a 22 year old and for uh, someone who's just started their career. And some young up and coming boxers feel the same way about meeting you, no doubt. Oh definitely. You know, um, they're looking at me now as uh, one of the idols, so that's great to um, great to hear and great to see. So um, I'm, I'm trying my best, and I just want to be the best that I can in what I've chosen to do. And um, now I'm grateful to see them they're looking at me as an idol and trying their best as well. All the very best with the fight and with your ongoing career. I hope to see you down here very soon with the gloves on. Thank you very much for your time. Well, Chapman, you must be enjoying getting a look at New Zealand from outside the boxing ring. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is our fifth day. Uh, we started on Monday, and uh, this is one of our last stops here in the South Islands and in Vercargill, and uh, it's actually quite nice. Uh, wasn't expecting to walk in on Polar Fest with all the kids, but uh, we're having fun. How's it like being the enemy? Because everyone's, you know, obviously a big fan of Joseph at home. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, if, if we were in the Bahamas, it would be the same thing. You know, I don't mind. Uh, this is Joseph's hometown. Uh, so what my plans are, come October 16, I'm going to uh, go out there and uh, take care of business to give Joseph a beating, take the Titus back to the Bahamas, and then next year we get to do, it, do this again, but in my neck of the woods, in the Bahamas. Have you seen uh, a lot of Joseph's fights he, on video, at least? Yeah, I did. I seen a few of Joseph's fights. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's an up-and-coming fighter. I've been in the game. I uh, have the experience, and I think that uh, regardless of what Joseph is doing, I'm going to impose my will and do what I need to do to have the victory and to take the titles back to the Bahamas.
experience is a big thing in boxing, isn't it? The ring craft, the things you learn over the years. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, you know, uh, some of the uh, naysayers and, and, and the pundits, they, they look at the negative side of it. Everybody's talking about age and, you know, that no matter to me. You know, I feel just as good as I was when I was 21. So I got the experience, I got the knowledge. It's nothing that I've never seen before in boxing that Georges could, could teach me at this point. So I'm the one uh, that got the tricks. I'm the one that got the experience. And come October 16 in Auckland, I plan to uh, you know, deliver a shellacking. I And he's under a bit more pressure being at home, isn't he? The expectation's high. Well, you know, I, I, I would assume so. But uh, for me, I'm comfortable. I'm relaxed. Uh, I'm enjoying this media tour. Uh, leave tomorrow, get back uh, to boxing camp in Florida, and I return a week before the fight and to just take care of business. But, you know, boxing uh, is twofold. Uh, you don't have to be the enemy. I don't feel like the enemy. I've, I've been embracing in New Zealand just like I was uh, a Kiwi, uh, but I'm 100% Bahamian, and I've been having fun. Uh, Joseph, actually, uh, he, he's a nice uh, young fighter. Uh, he got the right attitude, and he's positive. So it was actually quite easy to be around Joseph and his people for these last five days. For me, it was not a problem. Tell us a bit about boxing in, in the Bahamas. Is it, is it a big sport? Uh, yeah, boxing is big. Uh, we play a bit of a rugby and also uh, cricket. You know, we're part of the West Indies. Uh, you know, and uh, we have a few young fighters coming up now. We got a, a tremendous middleweight. Uh, we got a tremendous uh, welterweight and a couple of kids in amateur ranks. And uh, part of what I'm doing uh, as well as trying to promote uh, the sport of boxing and rugby back in the Bahamas and, and motivate a lot of other young kids to get involved and to be positive. Yeah, you know, as you said, a long career. What would be a highlight to What's the sort of your, your crowning moment so far? Yeah, my crowning moment. I had a few crowning moments. Uh, I had a lot of multiple titles. In 2011, I smashed and defeated Evander Holyfield. He quit in the third round. And in 2012, I went to uh, Macau, China, and I took uh, uh, three Asian Pacific titles from Chansey Williver. And I think uh, on October 16, we'll be fighting for one of those titles that I used to hold. So I, ha I had a lot of crowning moments, a lot of high moments. And uh, most importantly, I just give God, uh, you know, through Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, all the praises. Uh, this whole game to me has been uh, more about being mentally and spiritually prepared. So I'm spiritually sound and I know that uh, all things work for the good that those who please Christ and I think it's going to be good. You say Holyfield, on your CV looks good, doesn't it? Beating somebody who is a true uh, champion. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Holyfield uh, is a warrior of warriors. And, uh, you know, uh, it was good. But uh, that day I was the better man. I prevailed and uh, that's the way it is. And so, you know, God willing, I plan to do the same thing October 16th. How lo much longer do you, can you um, stick out this career, do you think? Because uh, boxers tend to go on a bit longer these days. Well, absolutely. If you look at most of the heavyweight champions, including uh, Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko, everybody's uh, late 30s, early 40s. So it's not unusual. I mean, heavyweights, you know, George Foreman uh, was almost 50 years old when he knocked out Mike, uh, Michael Moore to become a heavyweight champion, I believe, for the third time. Uh, Bernard Hopkins in Philadelphia, he's light heavyweight champion. He's 49 years old. Uh, you know, whatever God will and purposes for my life is what it is. But right now I feel healthy. I'm happy, I'm young, I'm vibrant, and as long as I got the tools and abilities, you know, I'm going to use them. Can you make a prediction for the fight against Parker? Well, I, I never was one to make predictions, but uh, come October 16th, it'll be bullets and gun smoke. You know, I'm coming to fight, I'm not coming to New Zealand for holiday. So confirming the details of the heavyweight explosion between Joseph Parker and Sherman the Tank Williams, they'll be ready to rumble at the Trust Arena Auckland Thursday the 16th of October. Tickets available now at all Ticket Direct outlets including the QTV offices at the SITRK Don Street in Vicargill.